Good morning, folks. Welcome to Art by Miss E in the studio this week. It's a very busy week in our household because Clayton's brother is getting married. So I'm going to try and get as much done in the studio as I can around that. But also this week is going to be mostly about having a lot of fun and chilling with family and going to this wedding. Now you'll have to excuse the state of my studio behind me at the moment. A bit of a pigsty. Um, our cleaning lady is here this morning and what we normally do is get all the mess from the rest of the house and just dump it in our studios and just say, hey, don't worry about cleaning the studios because that's where all the mess is hiding at the moment. So real life of an artist involves lots and lots of mess. Okay. So my goal in the studio today is to get started on this commission painting that I've had on my plate for probably at least six months, probably like eight months um, since this person first commissioned me. It does take a little bit longer to do a commission painting than a normal painting because I'm relying on someone else for input. When working on a commission painting, you have to communicate a lot with the client so that you're gonna be aiming for something that they're happy with. It takes a lot more work before the actual painting comes to life. Whereas when it's just me working on a painting, I just go for it without thinking about it too much, to be honest. <laughs> Hopefully come up with something that we're both gonna really, really love at the end of the process. And today's the day where I would like to actually put paint on the board for the first time. What I'm gonna be doing first is getting started on a base layer, which is super rough and pretty much just me familiarizing myself with the painting, what it's gonna look like, but just in a really fuzzy sort of general way. I'm gonna get started on the background first. Whenever I'm beginning a painting for the first time, aiming for the correct colors is usually the bit that I find the most challenging. What I do is I actually print out my reference photo and I know that printer's ink is not going to be the best colors, they're not going to be the same colors as on the screen, they're not going to be the same colors as my paint, but it gives me a direction and a starting point and something that I know I'm aiming for in terms of the values and the hues and everything to do with the painting. I find it much, much easier if I have a clear idea in my head of where I'm going and by having a printout that reminds me of my original vision when I first composed my reference photo. So once I've got that ready to go, I need to get all my paints set out on my palette and then I'm gonna be mixing the colors that I need for the background first and using my reference photo to sort of help guide. It's not gonna be exactly the same, but it'll help me figure out where I wanna go. So I always wear gloves when I'm oil painting because I find it I really don't like washing my hands again and again and wearing gloves helps avoid that. So for the sky in this piece it's mostly going to be white and some purples and some pinks so I only ever put out the colors that I think I'm going to need so that I don't waste any paint. Okay, so now that I've mixed my colors and I'm happy with the amount of variation that I've got there, I've got my medium on the palette, I've got my colors, I'm ready to get stuck into the painting now. So because I can only paint for like 45 minutes at a time, I often do other activities in between my little painting session. And today I have dyed my hair, so I've just got the dye sitting in at the moment. I'm desperately trying not to get teal dye all over everything. 
And I find that doing little jobs in between my painting sessions, it really stops me from straining my back, straining my wrist, getting up out of my chair and walking around and doing some other jobs, yeah. It means that I can have a very productive day in the studio, but also get a lot of other stuff done on my life to-do list, so yeah. Just happened to be needing to get my hair nice and dyed before this wedding tomorrow. So that's a wrap for today. I've managed to finish up applying the first coat on the background in the sky and clouds, which was actually, it's pretty relaxing to paint like a sky and clouds, especially in pinks and purples and pastels. Absolutely my favorite colors to paint with. Whenever I'm doing a base layer, I try and keep in mind that I'm just really just getting to know the painting and working out where everything needs to go and I think getting to know it is the best way to think about it. I'm not aiming for perfection, I'm not aiming for a finished product. I think some painters try and get everything done perfectly right away and I actually find that a really stressful way to paint and I prefer to just take my time, apply things, learn from my mistakes and see where the painting takes me. And that's it in the studio today. I'll see you tomorrow. Today's the day, the sun is shining, we have Corey and Jill's wedding to attend, which we're very excited about. Clayton is the best man, I'm just a lowly bystander, but we're very excited to have Clayton's family in town for the occasion, and very excited to have an excuse to get dressed up on a Wednesday, and hopefully drink a lot of wine, and have a lot of fun, and have a bit of a dance too! Folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. If you'd like to see more of my original artworks as well as prints, jewelry, and more, please head to my website. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and all the other socials. Bye!